Hi guys, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Sherlock and Squares. Watson likes to challenge Sherlock's math ability. He will provide a starting and ending value describing a range of integers. Sherlock must determine the number of square integers within that range, inclusive of the endpoints. A square integer is an integer which is the square of the integer. These are the square of the integers. It's like a perfect square. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, the list goes on. Let's see an example. We have the starting range that is 24 and the ending range is 49. Remember, it is inclusive. There are three squares in the range that is 25, 36 and 49. Let's solve the problem. First, import some math modules from math import start. Now we can write the logic return floor of square root of b minus seal of square root of a plus 1. This is the whole program. Let's see about each module. First, floor function will take the input and reduce to the whole integer like this. 5.9. If the input is 5.9 means it will reduce to the integer 5. It's like removing this decimal point. So that is floor. The next one is seal. Seal means even like 5.1 means it will approximate to 6. It's like sealing. It will go to the next higher number. That is seal operation. Square root is like a normal square root operation. First, we are taking square roots of both the range b minus a. So, if we take square root means, let's say for 49, the square root of 49 is 7. And for 24, the square root will be around 4 point some decimal number. We are taking seal for a, it will be like 5 after sealing the operation. For b, we are taking the floor operation, it will remain 7. So, 7 minus 5 is 2. Remember the word inclusive, you are including both the integers. Here, we need to include 49 also. For that itself, we are adding plus 1. Basically, this whole operation is like reducing it to a smaller number. Here, the series goes like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we take square, all will be the perfect squares. If we take square root, all will be in natural numbers. Then we can take the difference and the result will be our answer. Let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Yeah, we solved the problem. That's it guys. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.